guys, welcome back to the channel. Not a review today, but more of an experiment on this Red Star Moon Phase chronograph. It has the Seagull, the ST19 in the back. I love this watch. I called it my affordable grail watch when I bought it. There's a video there. But I realized I'm just not a very big fan of all the flatness of the case. It's kind of brushed, but there's no brush lines. It's almost like a matte steel. I thought maybe I could use these uh, Cape Cod polishing cloths. I hadn't seen anything on YouTube about it, so I just ordered them. Uh, there's a link down below. And I started polishing this side, and I think it started to actually look polished. I'm not totally sure, so I'm going to be polishing and checking in, polishing and checking in. But let's see if we can actually give as close to a high polish as possible to a totally unpolished case, just using these polishing cloths that cost just a couple dollars. So for the experiment part, let's start with the side of this lug and see if we can get it polished looking. We'll do some side by sides and we'll progress. So here is my first pass with the polishing cloth on the lug. We can pull up a side by side. The original will be on the left and this on the right. is after some polishing. By the way, this is what a Cape Cod polishing cloth looks like. Color of cotton candy actually kind of smells like cotton candy. And this is part of the stainless steel that I've been buffing off. Okay, so clearly there's been some more silver polishing going on or stainless steel polishing, I should say. And really look at the development I wasn't sure if the polishing cloth was going to work to actually make things high polish that never were. And bear with me, we're not at high polish yet, but I think if we pull in that side by side, you're really going to see the difference in the finishing. And this is only after a few minutes of rubbing. And as an example, literally just rub, 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 rub like that. So with that side-by-side, -side, I'm hoping it's showing a difference because just my naked eye, it's a big difference. There's some gunk on here too, so I'm just going to try and polish as much of this complete case as possible. And when I come back, we'll see if it was worth it. All right, I've been polishing for maybe 10 minutes more, and I think, again, you can see the results. Even tried to do it over here by the pushers. Less successful because there's so many kind of cracks and crevices. I think you can tell though, oops, that the uh, top of this case is a lot more polished than it was. That's really though where I think you can see the biggest difference. Still not done, but it's possible it seems. So this video really was just to see if something like this could be done. Like I said, I checked on YouTube. I couldn't find a video specifically trying to change a brushed or matte steel case into a polished steel case using those Cape Cod polishing cloths. 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 And I wanted to see if it was possible. So, again, link uh, to the Cape Cod cloths. I have an Amazon affiliate link down there. Also the link to the actual review of this watch when I bought it. Cool. Let's see how shiny I can get this thing. Thanks for watching. As always, a subscription does help the channel. I'll see you next time.